All right, in this video, I'm going to show you different techniques of different brush strokes that you can use with a paintbrush, some water, and some acrylic paint. So these are great techniques that you can try in your next acrylic painting. So the first one is basic blending, which is great for a background like a sky or for painting water where you want this smooth effect. So I'm using some cobalt blue and I'm just painting in the same direction from side to side. Then I'm going to take some darker blue and ultramarine blue and I'm just going to layer it over top. I'm going to add it over top and just kind of feather it together. So this is blending with a dry brush. We're going to try the same blending with a wet brush and adding some water. So I'm starting with cobalt blue, painting side to side again. And then I'm going to wet my brush in my container of water, add a little bit of, co of ultramarine blue, which is a bit darker, and blend it over top. You can even add a little bit extra water to blend it further. So this is great for creating a nice smooth texture like a sky or water or any kind of background. So the next technique I'm going to show you is called a wash. So you'll need your acrylic paint on your brush, which I have some left over. I'm just going to dip it into my container of water and you can kind of dab off extra color to create a wash. If I add even more water, I'm going to create a lighter color. So the more water and the less color I have, the lighter it's going to be. If there is excess water, you can always dab it away and remove it with a cloth. So this is a great way to create different layers on your canvas or to add washes in the background. So the next technique is a splatter. So with your wet brush, you can take your fingers and you can tap it like this to create a splatter. You can also pull back the bristles to create a splatter as well. If you hold the bristles back from further away, you're going to get smaller dots. If you hold it closer together, the dots are going to be a little bit bigger. With your splatters, you can add larger drops to create drips by tilting your canvas or canvas board and letting the drips run in different directions. If you're using watercolor paper, you can create drips by taping your watercolor paper to a wooden board or some kind of tray as well. So our next technique is one of my favorite techniques, which is going to create a nice texture, uh, which is cross hatching. So I'm using a round brush number six. I'm going to take some of my cobalt blue and I'm going to paint up and down and then side to side, sort of like a cross hatch. Then I can add other colors over top as well. So I'm gonna add some of this green, some darker blue. So this technique is great for kind of painting quicker and creating a nice texture where these little cross hatchings are going to kind of overlap together. So I'm just adding a bunch of different colors and this is great for creating a nice abstract look or creating a lot of texture in your painting. So you can just move really fast and move up and down and side to side 
spread different colors around like that. All right, tip number five is dabbing. So with our round brush, you're going to take different colors and just kind of dab like this. So when you're dabbing the brush, you can add colors kind of close together. You can add colors overlapping. You can have spaces. You can use the straight tip of the brush, which kind of looks like pointillism or you can use the side of the brush to create more of a dab. You can keep the same colors on your brush um, to kind of have different colors on the bristles. So some might have little bits of green or little bits of blue, like that. You can also use the end of your brush to create more finer dots if you want more of a look inspired by pointillism or rounder, more uniform dots. So similar to the dabbing is the impressionist style. So you're kind of making marks that are a little bit longer um, than a dab necessarily. They are just short little brush strokes that are very quick. So if I was painting water or painting flowers, this would be a great technique to use. So I can just add different colors that are similar and go together and just kind of overlap those strokes and they're just going to be kind of short, quick strokes all kind of in the same direction whereas when you're dabbing you might be kind of pushing down like this creating different trees and things like that. So the next brush stroke is about painting in a specific direction so if I was painting this circle shape, I'm going to paint it so that my brush strokes are nice and round to capture the round form. So everything is going to be painted in the same direction. I'm going to have a lighter color near the top and a darker color near the bottom to create a shadow with a highlight near the top. So since it's a round form, I'm painting in the same direction using these short brush strokes. You can also do this in another form that's not round where you're just painting your brush strokes in the same direction. So it could be diagonal, it could be up and down. And when you're painting the lines closer together, you're going to create a darker area. And when you're painting the lines further apart, you're going to create more of a lighter area. So that's hatching. And the last technique is scraping. So for scraping, you're going to paint in your section with whatever color you want. And then you can add another color over top. 
and then you can either use your brush or the end of the brush and just scrape into it and scratch it to get a really cool texture. You can experiment and play with different colors. And again, just kind of scrape into it and add some layers. So these are the nine different techniques. So we have blending with dry brushing and wet brushing. We have washes, splatters, drips, cross hatching, dabbing, impressionist, hatching, and scraping. These are the nine different techniques with brush strokes using a paintbrush, acrylic paint, and water. Be sure to check out these nine different brush strokes. Try them out, have fun experimenting and adding different colors. You can paint on a canvas board or a piece of watercolor paper in a sketchbook and just have fun trying out these different techniques and adding them in your next acrylic painting. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. New videos are added weekly. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Enjoy, happy painting.